so let's see here. Um, we've got a CLL is all it says on here, or CCL, I'm sorry, um, lock. I don't know exactly who makes it. Uh, maybe that's the manufacturer. I don't see any other identifying features on here, uh, but they wanted this rekeyed. So I thought I might just go ahead and show how we do this. Uh, first thing we got to do is identify the keyway, and judging by the milling on the key here, that is going to look like a master. Um, it is not the M1 keyway, not that one. It is the exact opposite milling, uh, still master key, um, but the opposite milling, you can see how they're directly opposite of each other here. So, but this one does fit, um, so we can go ahead and cut new keys, and that, that tells me that it's gonna be master key depth. So we pull out the good old master uh, rekeying pin kit right here. Um, it's gonna give us all the stuff we need. The followers will be the correct size, uh, all that fun stuff. We got two screws here. These are just gonna come right out. I'll try and focus that down there. Bingo. This is just gonna lift right out. I do like to, when I haven't taken something apart before, I'll just take a magic marker and make a little mark, just like that. So that way I know how it went back together. Um, so we'll do one there and one there. So when we're done, I can see exactly how this thing goes back together. We're gonna pull that out. You're gonna see a cam like that and you're gonna see a bunch of stuff in there. We don't need to worry about anything in here. Just make sure nothing flies out. We have two screws right there. So we'll just pop these out. And bingo, that's gonna give us a cylinder. Look and see what's holding the cylinder in. It looks like it's gonna be this clip right here. So what we need is a working key. Okay, working key, and we're gonna rotate that around. And you'll see that now there's nothing holding that clip in so we can go ahead and take a screwdriver and pink pop our little clip out just like so and we got our clip a little half moon clip uh, we'll go ahead and take this this is going to be a little tricky it would look as though this would go into this tailpiece end right here like so but it does not it won't fit that way um, it's too thick uh, so what I'm gonna do is just barely turn that over so the key would be in about that position and the tail is in about that position and then we're just gonna run this right along with it keeping the pins up in the top uh, and using the top of the follower just like so okay so we'll go ahead and do that Then a new pin to our new key, we need our new key, just about like so. Hmm. Still a little high, but we'll modify the key. Um, so that'll work. Let's see here. Supposed to be a number six, but sometimes you can be off a little bit with these odd brand locks. So, because that pan is sticking up just a little bit. File. That first key spacing down a little bit, so it will fit better. One more. Okay, so basically we just filed that down right there. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just like so. So now they're all laying nice and flat and even. And before we did that, you could see that that one's sticking up a little bit. So that's why we filed that key, that uh, number one pin spot on the key down a little bit. And it will fit perfectly, just like so. So once that's nice and smooth, 
just reverse the process all over again insert again we don't need to join it at the bottom just make sure that you have a nice smooth movement inside there okay that goes in very nicely we'll get our half moon clip oops we need our key to turn that around and then we'll reinsert our moon clip and as soon as that is inserted then it can't fall out again very good and then this is why we have our lines match up our lines reinsert our screws because we don't want to come loose and we're gonna put that half moon tail piece into that half moon piece here once again making sure that our lines line up here this is why we do this before we take it apart that way we make sure we don't put it back together upside down or something or backwards uh, which obviously I have done many times that's why we do that little trick and make sure that we put the lines on there <clears throat> Let's see, it's going to work. One more screw. Mm. And bingo. Old key does not work anymore. And new key does. So, for more information, check out the website below. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.